Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm gonna to give you a grand tour of our updated homeschool room. And I'm also gonna answer some frequently asked questions about what we're doing about school this year. Like, are we homeschooling all the kids? Are any kids going to public school? And all of that, so stay tuned. So when it comes to school this year, we are doing a hybrid system again. That means part of the time we're gonna be homeschooling, and part of the time the kids will be going to public school. The kids are all enrolled in a public homeschool charter. Several times a week the kids are going to be gone. They attend classes and activities, but while they're at home they're gonna be using this room to do their schoolwork. And this room has changed quite a bit over the years. If you'd like to check out my homeschool room tour from last year, I'll go ahead and put the link above and below. So this room is right off the entryway of our house. You can see here we have our little launch pad right there. That's where the kids hang up their backpack and that's where I put my purse. Anything that we need when we head out the door, we hang up right there. So as we enter the room, here's sort of the overview of the space. And you might notice a big change from last year. This year we're going for minimal. Most of the kids' schoolwork is going to be done online and on campus, so we really don't need a ton of stuff in this room, and I prefer it that way. One of the biggest changes we made this year is on this wall. We did away with the dark, heavy bookcases that used to be there, and we replaced it with a desk for Lily and more storage and a TV. I'm super excited to have a TV this year in the schoolroom. This is just an inexpensive one from Walmart, but it has a DVD player built in so I can play any educational DVD that I'd like. And it's also hooked to the internet so you can watch educational shows on YouTube. We can watch PBS Kids and things like that. Moving right along to our top baskets. In this basket, I have items that we don't use all the time, but I definitely want to keep out of the reach of my toddler. First, I have our letter cards, and these are used by Lily for her curriculum this year. You might recognize this from my Father's World curriculum. I bought that long ago when we first started homeschooling Mackenzie, and we still use parts of it today. And then in this basket, we have Lily's microscope. This was a Christmas gift last year, and it is so cute. It comes with the slides, and it's actually a talking microscope as well. And then in this basket, we just have the remote to the TV. We are so bad at losing remotes around here. The kids just take off with them sometimes. And so I wanted to keep it up here and hidden, hidden away. Now this new shelving system came from Ikea. It wasn't too expensive and it holds a ton of stuff and all the baskets are from the Dollar Tree. So this is where I store the extra school supplies and the DVDs. So in this basket, I have a collection of our favorite DVDs. And in this one, we have a couple more. In this basket here, I have all of our glue sticks. And in this one, I have all of our liquid glue. In these next baskets, I have all of our crayons. I like to stock up when they're on sale at back to school time and then we just get them out as we need more. And then in this one I have all the extra markers and pencils, erasers, and things like that. And then way down here at the bottom we have two sections that are dedicated to my toddler Griffin. So these are activities that he can do by himself, hopefully, while I'm helping the other kids. We have a couple of books in there, some puzzles, and then this really cool magnetic color maze. These are so fun. Another big change in this room are the desk areas. We got rid of our old beat up desks and we got some new ones from Ikea. I really like these ones because they're height adjustable. So you might notice that Lily's desk is a little bit shorter than the bigger kids because that's what she needs. It's right at the perfect height for her and we can adjust it as she grows. Another reason I really like these desks are the extra storage. This is like a little bookcase. It attaches right to the desk so it's nice and secure and the kids can store whatever they need on the shelves. Now this year I really wanted to give each kid their own space that they could store their stuff the way they wanted to. So I wanted to give them space to decorate and customize it as well. So I went ahead and got these cork boards from Ikea and the kids can put their artwork on there or anything that they wanna hang up. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick tour of what she has on her bookshelf, starting with this really cute box light. I got these on clearance at Target for $4.98. So I can change out the letters, I can change out the emojis, it is super cute. She also has a little desk lamp here from Target, and it also has a USB charging cord, which is perfect 
because she does use a tablet and things like that for her school. On the wall here, I just have a simple dollar store command hook with a dollar store wipeable envelope so I can change out her artwork or put any sort of thing that she might wanna look at while she's working in there. And then on her top shelf, she has a really cute pencil holder and I'll show you how we made these. The kids and I went to the dollar store and we found these customizable travel mugs. So basically we just took some construction paper, the kids put stickers on them and I stuck it back into the pencil cup. So it's really cute and customized. Next to that, she has a cute little ceramic duck that she made, one of her favorite books, which is Chicka Chicka ABC. I love that book. She has a little dog pencil pouch. You might remember this from our back to school haul. It looks like a stuffed animal, but there's actually pencils and crayons inside. Next to that, she has a little storage space for her pencils and her colored pencils and her crayons, things that she uses all the time. And then on the bottom, she has a little ice cream cone toy and her pencil sharpener. Now these desks are nice and bright and new right now. I know they're not gonna stay that way, so I'm trying to be prepared. But I did go ahead and purchase the desk protectors at Ikea as well which is like a thick plastic, almost like a placemat. So hopefully it'll protect the desk. Now before I move out of Lily's area, I wanted to show you what's on the bottom of her chair. I found these on Amazon and it's basically a fidget band. A lot of kids, they like to fidget and it actually helps them concentrate and she is one of those kids. So I found this band, it goes on the bottom of her chair and she can kind of work her feet up and down as she's concentrating on her work. I also have one of these on Jackson's chair. And then finally, on the edge of her little bookcase, I have an area for her to hang up her headphones. So when she does her online work and she's using her computer, she can put her headphones on and not disturb the other kids while they're working. Moving on over to the window corner, we have another new addition to the schoolroom. I actually ordered a homeschool piano course for all the kids to take, and it looks really fun. It looks like a game. So. I'm not personally a piano player, but their dad is, so hopefully he'll be able to help them. This keyboard even came with a set of headphones so the kids can plug them in while they're doing their lesson, so they can be doing their lesson while the other kids are working on other projects. And I'm hanging this up on just a cheap dollar store command hook. Now moving on over to our main storage area for the room, we did keep this gigantic Ikea bookshelf because I love it. In fact, I really think I need to get another one just to store all of my lunch making supplies. I have that many supplies, but that's for a different video. And you guys will have to pardon the uh, sun over here. It's coming through the window. It's almost dinner time. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up quickly. But in this area, as you can tell, we have our fun wheel stored there on the top. That is so fun. Below that we have our Mike and Sully from Disneyland, just for fun. I didn't know where else to put them, so they are up there. We have our globe right there. And then this area, we have storage for games and puzzles and projects and things like that. Moving on down to the lower shelves, we have one dedicated for each child. So all the purple things in these two sections are Lily's items. Then we have Mackenzie's here in the pink. In the center section here, I have some of my things and some of the books that they all use. Oh yes, and the silver play button because I didn't know where else to put it and it looks good right there. The orange sections are Jackson's and the green sections will one day be Griffin's but right now it's just sort of extra in case we need them. So the binders are where they keep their finished work, they keep their work samples in there, and then the book bins is where they keep their notebooks and folders, coloring books, things like that. On this next shelf, we have some of our favorite books that we use all the time. Over the summer, we donated a lot of books that we no longer needed, and we just kept these ones, our absolute favorite tried and true books. And then peeking over there, we have our Tally the Time Clock. This is such a fun activity or game if you have any kids that are learning how to tell time. He is so fun. On the next row, we have all of these white bins from the Dollar Tree, and they sort of have our overflow items. In this one, I have some of Lily's books and readers. In this one, I keep all of our character books. These are the ones that teach about patience and working together and how to be a leader and things like that. In this one, I have my little pencil case and a lot of items from the Dollar Tree. So I have some of these little extra speaking boards, some crafts, 
and things like that. In this one I have things like photo props and posters and also lots of things from the Dollar Tree for different projects. And then way over here I keep our clipboards for when we need to do work on the go, which is quite often. Moving on down to the last two sections. In this row we have everyone's catch-all bin. So books, projects, toys, anything that the kids want to store, they can store right in there. So it's kind of like their personal locker. They can put whatever they want in there. Everyone has their own little bin and they're great because they pull out just like drawers. Lily has one, Mackenzie has one, even I have one, and I just have my hole punch and my teacher's attendance book in there. We have Jackson's right there, and way over there, that's going to be Griffin's someday. And in these very bottom drawers is where I keep all of the art supplies. So we have paint and paint brushes, we have smocks and things like that. Now moving on over to the big kids area, I try to start off with basically the same. They have the same desks, the same shelves, the same corkboard, the same lamps, and then they got to customize that however they want. So they put what they wanted on their shelves. You can see Jackson has his little light box. He has some of his favorite books, his little pencil cup that he made, some of his pens and pencils, and his notebook. He also has a section where he can hang up his artwork. They both have an area to hang up their headphones. We have our school clock way up there. And yes, it is almost dinner time. Now moving on over to Mackenzie's area. She put a cute little art project right here on her cork board. She has a light just like everyone else has. She has a lot of little stuffed animals. This one's actually a pencil pouch as well. Isn't that cute? He just opens up in the back and you can store your pencils in there. She has some of her favorite books on here, her colored pencils, and she's really been into this How to Draw book. Now the center desk used to be over in our window area where the piano is now. And I decided to keep it because sometimes we need extra space if we're working on art projects or if we have a lot of items to spread out. So I wanted an extra desk in here. It's totally removable so I can take it out if I need to. And it's already really marked up on top so it's the perfect art table as well. And this is also a great desk for my toddler to use if he wants to come and join us in the schoolroom. Now finally over in this corner we have our school calendar and below that I have our easel. We really don't use this very often at all but it fits perfectly in there so we kept it. And that is our new updated homeschool room tour. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.